I expect it to be way more traditional and kind of old style because that was my thoughts that goes back in the past, but I did find um, a very positive vibe. Uh, way more focus on uh, good coffee than in the past. Uh, I've seen uh, a lot of uh, micro roaster and, and the passionate community of barista that uh, are really putting uh, forces and energies together in order to deliver the best experience. Uh, I'm right in the coffee area of the expo and it's really interesting to see how many bigger companies and tiny companies. Lots of different roasteries, lots of different baristas. It's really diverse, which is really cool. Whenever you have this many people to bring to somewhere, cool things can happen. And it's just how you use that energy in that audience to spread the right message. And I think these, these educational sessions are probably the, the most important thing. You can walk around all the stands, but to sit down and learn from you know, a real group, a real range of different people is really valuable. More and more, you're seeing equipment that is a little easier to use, a little less technical, and a little more allowing the barista a little more room to exchange with the customer. They are setting a standard for, not for coffee, for the coffee experience. And that's what, what the customer values at the end. So I'm really happy to be here because uh, I've been uh, 2016 and uh, one of my favorite countries, honestly, uh, Russia and the city, Moscow. I like it a lot because uh, you are really friendly and I would like to speak with the people because they are really fun of the coffee uh, cocktails. I think that uh, all the coffee people, they are really happy and they are really familiar with uh, the coffee cocktails so they would like to come and ask us uh, about our opinion, they would like to have a conversation with us uh, because they would like to involve themselves in the, the coffee industry. This is really important because we would like to give them a lot of our ideas and a lot of our opinions to create something new, to go forward in this uh, industry. This show is crazy because there are so many people and they have, everyone have passion for coffee. So for me, it's a very good surprise. I don't know Russia, but in Japan, people think about the coffee. Coffee is difficult. It's difficult to taste. Everyone don't, didn't have enough experience of coffee. But like a natural process coffee, Geisha variety coffee, it, they have distinct flavor. It's easy to appreciate the coffee flavor. So I think that trend is going to the customer experience. Изначально пир исторически начинался с небольшого форума, с образовательной программы, делали какие-то чемпионаты. Сообщество очень дружное, все очень позитивно друг к другу относятся, нет негативной конкуренции, классно развивающийся рынок. Все аудитория растет вместе с нами. Приезжают баристы со всей страны, слушают образовательную программу. И сейчас на семинары набирается уже там по 300 человек, и сколько бы поблизает. Люди стали какие-то более, с одной стороны, голодные до знаний, с другой стороны, и нам нужно план тоже увеличивать. Вот сейчас мы видим дальнейшее такое направление, куда нам двигаться. Это как раз кросс продвижения да, между направлениями. И мы думаем, что кому, как и нам, да, пиру объединять эти индустрии, чтобы хороший кофе был не только в кофейнях, чтобы хороший сервис был не только в ресторанах, а там, чтобы хорошие деньги были не только в отелях, а обмениваться. The coffee zone uh, is very well organized uh, with the competition. Uh, to me, it seems that there is interaction. What those guys uh, are doing uh, are building uh, coffee knowledge, and they're raising the bar in terms of uh, what coffee is, uh, what the consumer should expect. Uh, they create the interest and the vibe for people that are here to watch and to go back and to learn a little bit more about coffee. We still have a lot of things to do because there is the opportunity to really, you know, be uh, a key player in this market and continue to be as we are today.